Hi, this is Stephen Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire, and tonight I was going to sleep in a shelter that I was going to make and uh, have a video on how to do that. This is a massive tree that fell in a storm, and under it there's a trunk sitting up on branches so it's not going to fall, and it's nice and dry under there, and all the snow didn't go under there. So I'm just going to close in that end and lay some cedar on the bottom to keep my warmth in from off the ground and we'll get that done and get back with you. Now what I'm doing is I'm making kind of a spring cedar bed and I'm going to take the cut end of this branch I'm going to stick it down, down the cedar that I heard have, stick it down so it's kind of springy and the ferns are up, that way the branches don't poke me in the middle of the night. And I got all these cedar branches because a big tree had fallen and it had knocked a bunch of the branches off of the cedar tree so I'm putting those branches that got knocked off to good use that way they're not being wasted so. <coughs> keep doing this until it's nice and thick we're about done alright the most important part when you're building a shelter and you have your bed in there just test it out make sure it's comfortable because you don't want to get in there in the middle of the night and see that it's not. So I'm just testing it out, making sure I have enough cedar on there, making sure it's long enough for me. It looks just about right. And we'll pull these little branches in here so that they're not sticking out there. Alright, now I'm on the back end of the shelter and I'm going to close this back end in to block the wind from coming on my back. Now you want to make the bed in your shelter before you close the back in like this because you don't want to knock the back off when you're making the bed. So what I've got here is just a whole bunch of dry, dead weed stuff that's growing. I'm just going to pack it off and form it kind of like a plug in here. I've also got some of the larger branches that we didn't want in a bag. So I'm just going to hold it down with. There's a bunch of this stuff around here, so I'm just going to grab it. Put it up there. Some the cedar. Alright, we got some stuff back in here and I've got some grass. It's probably going to be enough and I'll add a little more later if I need it. But another thing about grass is it's very important in a survival situation. There's a lot of dead air space in grass and it will help retain your body heat. And it acts as a great in insulation. <laughs> so we're going to put that in there like that. Make a nice wall. Alright, now I'm going to put my gear under here so it stays dry. Then I'm going to leave my sleeping bag rolled up until I'm ready for bed because if you unroll it, it'll absorb all the dew and the night air. So I'm just going to leave that rolled up until bed and it'll help keep the dew off of it. So next thing, get some firewood and build a fire ring.
All right, it's about time to get the fire going because it's almost dark. So let's get this fire going. Later. Don't forget it. Okay, getting the fire going for tonight. And fire here is going to be no problem because as you can see I've got an unlimited supply of firewood. Well, good night and I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Well, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night. There's just a couple of things that I'm going to do to make it better for tonight and get some more cedar and put under here. It was in about the mid 20s last night, so let me get up here. Put some more wood on that fire. Well, it's a pretty nice morning. Got a nice fire going. I'm gonna put some more cedar under here and make it a little bit better to sleep on tonight. This is Stephen Wonder with Bushcraft on Fire. Hope you have a great afternoon. Hope you get out there and try some of these things. And hopefully it works for you. Good afternoon.